Breaking News Nigerians. Storm over Uzodemar's election promise of 4,000 jobs in Europe, Canada, for Imo youth. Amidst the favor of the upcoming elections in Imo State, a video featuring Governor Hope Uzodema prom promising 4,000 jobs in Europe to Imo youth has sparked a storm. In the video, the governor pledged to secure job opportunities in Europe and Canadian companies for 4,000 Imo State youth. He promised met with a, a chorus of chairs from his audience. Bet met with unbelief by netizens. Governor Hope Zodima has said, Let me tell you something. I have gone further to negotiate with European Union companies and Canadian companies. They are sending us special areas of discipline skills, which our youth will also learn. And by December this year, 4,000 of our youth will be employed in Europe. And once the employment letter comes, the governor will call for your air ticket. Commenters currently residing in Europe urge fellow youths to consider staying and improving their homeland rather than seeking opportunities abroad. His comments resonated with many who are frustrated with the perpetual circle of promises made during election campaigns. This sentiment was echoed by Temple Sun, who aptly labeled the governor's statement as just another election promise, highlighting the unfortunate reality of political agendas, often overshadowed genuine development initiative. The comment sessions pointed to to pointed a stark picture of the the public's perception of politicians' integrity. And one Naxon questioned the feasibility of sending Imo state youth abroad when there are pressing issues to be solved locally, emphasizing the need for job creation within the country. And another person expressed the frustration of many wondering why policies to create jobs within the state were not being prioritized. Why skepticism loomed large, there were also to there was, a, there was also a call for action among the youth. One Jibiri urged his peers to wake up and actively engage in shaping their own future rather than relying on empty promises from politicians. Hmm. Some comments from the post. The governor who is encouraging Jakba since he's part of the failure Telling them what they want to hear. Now, new lie be that. So, they know fit put work for Nigeria. I be make 400,000 people come out go day, no go come back. Population go day reduce for that small emo. Youth population is now too much in emo states. Hmm. Euro of the year. Chai, see failure. See Mumu youth rejoicing as Una governor negotiates with Una lives. Chai, our Mumu too much. What do you expect? See the way he is brainwashing the primitive ones. God, I beg, take hope and bring back David Dawson. <laughs> this man don't have a shame. I blame those people that are shouting. Okay. This man don't know anything again to campaign. With this, he's just confused. See, I am currently living here in Europe. Our youth wake up. Is it better to jackpa or to fix our own, our own country? This is election promises. So you don't say. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. As Emo State jars up for the forthcoming election on November 11th, these statistical voices serves as a reminder that the youth are no longer content with male rhetoric. They demand tangible actions and sustainable solutions to the challenges 
faced by their communities. Whether these demands will shape the political landscape remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the youth are no longer willing to accept hollow promises at face value, uh, volume. They are ready for change and they are watching their leaders closely, holding them accountable for the future they envision. You see, um, for you to understand now that they are failed, how can you say you want to give job to 4,000 youth out from your state? This is what they do. Politicians, they will come out and tell you everything. We sugar coat it on everything. They go talk. The one when they go do, the one they not go feed do, they go drop them. Last, last, everything they have said, they will not remember. I think the most important thing in that in most states now is to bring peace in that state. They need peace. So many youth have died in Hope Uzodi mass regime. It's like he forgot. Like what somebody said there, he said, you see, Hope Uzodi Ma does not have anything to com- campaign. Now, he's now telling Nigerians, see, in Imo state, I am giving you job outside Nigeria. So he's telling them that Nigeria as a state has failed. There is no hope again in Nigeria. That is why he's sponsoring them outside the country. You see, the leaders, they themselves are calling themselves failures with their mouths. When you have every opportunity to create a job in your state, you are saying you are transporting them out from your state. So that means there is no hope in Nigeria. That is just what he has said. May God have mercy on us. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.